My people, are you not there now? Firstly, I want to make this clear. This color, this shirt you see me wearing, eh? he has no affiliation to any group, LGBTQ, any association at all. It's just a honest color. The same color of rainbow we knew when I was young. The meaning of rainbow, this is what it represents. He has no affiliation. If also someone will say Adam's link, ah, you are part of the LGBTQ. I recognize the LGBTQ as a group, but me, I'm not part of anything. This is an honest color I have decided to wear. Honest to, honest color. So he has no affiliation, no attribution to anything. That aside, I think it's about time. I do not know if you guys feel the same way. Should we say thank you to Tinubu? Or should we say, ah, Tinubu, it seems like you have got it wrong again well as of yesterday the presidency announced that tinubu has directed some bus stops bus transportation to slash their prices by 50 percent by 50 percent so that uh, from uh, let me check the date from december 21st to january 4 for this uh, period of holiday there are some uh, bosses already had an agreement with the federal government to slash their prices by 50%. Not all bosses in Nigeria, and I'm going to name them for you. And also, the Railway Corporation has announced the commencement of free trade service from Thursday, December 21st to, th to Thursday, January 4th, 2024. So you can go to Nigeria uh, uh, Trade and uh, you will enter free. Free! To any or your destiny, to any destination in Nigeria, any destination that the tree that there is train station, no? in my state now, I do stay. There is no train station there, so please, I'm still hoping that they link Edo, Bin, uh, Abuja to Edo, and uh, Lagos to Edo. Please, I'm still hoping. So me now, I'm not going to benefit nothing from this uh, from this new initiative, and also the bus is already approved. The buses company already approved. They are about five. Uh, GIG, that's God is good. Chisco Transport, Young Shall Grow, God Bless, Eze Watu, Eze Water, Area Moto. Those are the three uh, transport company. And uh, of course, you can see the, the transit there of the places that they will be stopping and going. Well, uh, Nigerians are not quite happy about this. Why some Nigerians are happy? Some are saying that, oh, they are going to stampede those uh, uh, transport services, those transport uh, stations. They are going to stampede them. And again, they are looking for a way for people to pay times 10. After traveling to their home, they are going to pay again, pay times 10 coming back. But they say, 21st January to uh, 21st December 2023 to January 4th 2024. So I think after the new year, you can decide to come the next day, second, and uh, go into and make sure you book ahead because, of course, there will be so much people there. And you know, Nigerians again, they will use the opportunity to chop these transport services. Please, eh? We could not use in our church mind. We know you guys want to make money. Please, you guys will use your church mind. Don't do this like a subsidy. When marketers will supply fuel, uh, two liters of fuel, they will tell federal government that they supplied one million liters of fuel. Please, eh? even if eh, at least supply, for example, supply 100,000 liters of fuel, and you can tell the federal government you supplied 100, uh, 110,000 liters of fuel. At least, if you chop 10,000 liters of fuel, it's okay for you. But some people, they will provide like uh, five buses. And meanwhile, they will tell federal government they provide like uh, 300 buses. Please, please, please. Eh? Also, see it as an avenue for you to bless yourself, for God to bless you. We know this is business. But do the right thing. You have already made profit. You don't need to make that extra profit because this, that's exactly what they're going to do. They will tell you, oh, no buses available. They, they provided five buses. And meanwhile, they will tell the federal government they, protect, they provided 10 buses. And also the federal government representative will go there and collaborate with them. 
collaborate with them for that person for for that person to also chop uh, money as well. You know, please. And eh? we know soon I go chop now workshop, but take it a little bit easy. Eh? Take them easy, not to chop too much, because people will definitely go to all those places to to pay and to of course. Uh, pay uh, that stipend they are telling them to pay in order to get to their destination they want to see their family please the hardship of nigeria is too much eh? please eh, follow the street uh, the the uh, the uh, street rules and if you want chop please chop a little mm? please so let's talk about uh, pastor suleiman versus uh, daniel rega then the rega made comment about pastor suleiman concerning that incident about last year last two years when uh, Pastor Suleiman was almost assass assassinated, but God saved him. But the people, his uh, security, and uh, I think a cleaner, a lady that was with him, they were that lucky. So now, as at 23, Daniel Rega decided to throw more light into the situation. He said, 2023 is about to end, but uh, today, nothing has been done regarding the people killed during the assassination attempt. No justice served. The police have gone silent, and Suleiman seems to have moved on. Dear Apostle Suleiman, I hope you realize that the victim died following you. Dear Apostle Suleiman decided to acknowledge uh, Daniel Rega, uh comment on that particular issue. He, he said, We have deliberately refused to feed your truths. Or engage your insensitivity. You have posted nine tweets since the issue happened, and it all documented because you seem to know what we don't know. The leaders of the gang was caught, and he confessed to being sent. You never tweet to demand the identity of who sent them to at least show you really mean well for the disease, but you rather you keep interfering with security matter. You are free to use. Your landlord, your love fries and scares to chase clowns as usual, but keep the apostle heart of your idealness. One more tweet about this, you will be invited by those on the matter to tell them what you know and we don't know. I beg, Pastor Suleiman, the guy is just making his comments. You understand? He, he, I, Daniel Rega did absolutely nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Whenever he started Pastor Suleiman, he really brought more light into this situation. So if you thought say they're going to invite him, it seems like you you have the authority to direct them to invite him because the police should be able to do their work independently. So for me, I don't see what he done already got talk bad though. He just only made a comment. Too. He made comments. He never insulted anybody. He never did anything wrong. <laughs> He never said that I knew, I saw, I, I knew this. He only made a comment. So he's, he, he, he's not going to be liable to anything. So I dear that Daniel Rega to send out another tweet. I'm hoping he's going to send out another tweet, honestly. I'm hoping he's going to send out because he did absolutely nothing wrong. Let's be honest. Eh? This country, everybody just wants to oppress each other mm? with the little opportunity uh, we, we get. Everybody just want to oppress everyone to show that okay, yes, I'm in position. Why oppress the poor? The people made them no get that position, the same position made and day. Ah, take it easy now. We know see so be power mic, but take it easy. So let's forget about that. Let's talk about another pastor, Pastor Paul Ade Farazin. Well, if I'm pronouncing that well, and if I'm not pronouncing that well, sorry. Now, let me just shout it, Pastor Paul. So, Pastor Paul, of course, you know, during the election, he made a lot of meme for himself, negatively and positively. Well, Pastor Paul had an incident in Lagos. We do not know if uh, the incident was true or not, but his name was mentioned. Again, I do not know if it's true or not, but his name was mentioned. I've been to Lagos before, and uh, even in Abuja here, you see how annoying he it is with all those downfall drivers. You see how annoying it is with all those uh, uh, transport drivers. They just want to block the road in order for them to carry passengers. No, no, no sense of responsibility. 
no sense of awareness, nothing, nothing. He pissed me off so much. So firstly, let me just get that straight. So someone said, inside traffic and this bus eats Pastor Paul's car. And your esteemed pastor and religious father got down from his car and smashed the window of the bus involved injuring passengers in the bus and threatening the driver. And on me negated disgrace. What an experience. You guys forget that Pastor Paul is a human being with feelings. Or indeed, they will say, oh, men of God should be pious. I swear if not me and be Pastor Paul and eh, you hit my car and I don't already forget this bad feeling, follow this trans uh, this transport uh, driver. Say, well lie, I will slap that man. I'm just be honest though. Well lie, I will slap that man. What did Pastor Paul do that guy, that driver too small? If not me, well lie. If you if you are driving, if you have a car and you see the way this guy drives, eh, you will be so pissed off. Although as a man of God, oh he should show good responsibility you should show an example and everything that one are you now honestly when some people maybe it may have been that the guy is moving and uh, the, uh, the other guy is uh, maybe it may have been that like the, the bus driver is, has been trying as much as possible to bash this pastor the pastor has been very very careful trying to dodge him until he hit his car if not me, if not you, go to you. If you get car for this guy, had economy. You say, Pastor, okay. Me, a pastor, apostle, or pastor, whatever. Uh, so he, he shouldn't react because he know quite well you can't buy that car. You can't repair the car. And although he's a pastor also, and he needs to be able to, like, okay, just overlook that man, be like, okay, you are a human being and you are bound to make mistakes. But these transport, these transport uh, people, eh, they don't, they make that mistake always. The next day, the guy is going to continue doing all rubbish again. You know, I don't know how to react on it. Oh. You know, again, like I said, it's a pastor. He should be pious. He should be gentle. He should be this and that. Okay, good and fine, it's a pastor. But I'm just saying, if this is me, I am not an imam. I am not a pastor. Will lie? Wait, I will do that guy. If it was part with it, that pastor do. I'm just saying, you know, but he's a pastor. If you'll be pious now, relax, pastor.